if my energy seems low, it's because it is. Being in pain is not fun and it's very draining. I do want to show you that I've been using some new things. I think the last time I made a video about what gets me through my flare ups, I mostly talked about Vicks. Yeah, Vicks and weed and naproxen. And I actually don't use those anymore. I mean, I use the weed still frequently, but I actually don't use Vicks anymore. And I haven't actually been taking naproxen. Why is that you ask? Well, um, I'm really tired of smelling like Vicks. Also, the fact that I share a bed with my partner, I just started to get very insecure and they would know if I had a flare-up because they could smell it on me. As far as naproxen, I do still take it every once in a while. Like I'm going to probably after this video because I'm really hurting. But before I would take way too much naproxen. I know this, I know this about myself, but um, like what can you do? The pain was bad. So I didn't care about damaging my liver at all. I had a very, 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 very bad flare-up. If you remember the video I posted, what, a couple years ago now, it was about surviving the worst flare-up ever. It was two times worse than that. It was so, so bad. Like, it scarred me. My partner was worried for me. They thought that, you know, they were worried that I would off myself. Like it was really, really, really bad. It was so bad to the point where I tried so many new things. The VIX wasn't doing anything and the naproxen wasn't doing anything. And I was at my wits end. So that week I spent tons of money go puffing, Instacarting, 7-Eleven delivery, just every single thing that people said on the HS forums, on Reddit, wherever. I was trying everything. As you know with HS, not everything works for everybody. There are the popular items that everyone uses, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So even though people talked about a lot of the products that I got, most of them didn't work for me. So I just spent more and more and wasted more and more money. But I did want to share with you that I found a few things that are like my new go-tos. And so I really wanted to update you all because the last you knew, I would guzzle naproxen and slather on Vicks. First thing, let's talk about the bath and showering. So this is dye-free antiseptic skin cleaner. This is the Walgreens version of Hibiclens. Everyone talks about using Hibiclens. I never really used it. I was like, whatever, I don't really care. It's an antimicrobial skin cleaner, antiseptic. And it's basically just supposed to like be very good for cleaning um, so you don't like breed bacteria and stuff. People swear by this, especially if they have low levels of HS. There are people that say that just by washing with this twice a day, stops their HS. So I was curious. Now I can't say that it's made my flare-ups go away, but I definitely think it helped. Also, I just feel way cleaner. I definitely think that sometimes um, our spots take way longer to heal if they're just not healthy. And I feel like this definitely does the trick. Also, it smells very nice. And I realized if you have HS, you really should be using a good cleaner. Like what is body wash doing? What is bar soap doing? Like, no, you have wounds. So this, that's a yes. Also for the bath shower, which I'm really sad because it's on its last leg, but Epsom salts. Sitting in an Epsom salt bath, it definitely helps. People say that it softens the skin and it heals the whole process up. I definitely agree. So Epsom salts get you some. This is my fourth bag of Epsom salts in the past few months. So that's how I know that I love it. The one I actually preferred though is called like Dead Sea. It'll be in the description, but it's like actual sea salt from the sea. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It definitely has happened to me and I've, other people agree I've seen on Reddit and on the Facebook groups. But whenever I'm on vacation and swim in the ocean, my flares heal so quickly. I remember last time I was in Mexico, I was eating everything. And just because I was swimming a lot, nothing happened. Right now, as far as band-aids, the Cushion Care Sports Strip is definitely doing it for me. It says dual cushioning protection for painful wounds designed to help prevent re-injury. Let me pull one of these out for you. 
it's really funny to say I have a favorite band-aid now. I really like this band-aid. For one, it doesn't irritate me. A lot of just like the normal fabric band-aids, they just, after a while, they really, really irritate my skin and it starts to burn. And I don't need my skin around my flare burning. Like, it's a little too much. But the non-fabric band-aids never stick. Now this doesn't stick to my bikini line, but it does everywhere else. Do you see how thick that cushion is? So first of all, this is very soft and cushiony, the band-aid part. The whole thing is thick and soft. Ichthamol ointment. This is a drawing salve. As you can see, I used a lot, but this is when I was really struggling. I haven't used it since. It's supposed to draw things to a head. It's like prid. It's a drawing salve. It's also good if you've got like, um, what is it, ingrown? If you have splinters, if you have like a nail or a stapler in your skin, apparently if you keep putting this on it, it'll draw it out slowly. So yeah, just a special mention. It didn't help me, but if you're at a loss, it's definitely worth trying it. And then next, I actually didn't buy this for myself, but it is Gold Bond Original Strength Body Powder, Triple Action Relief, Cooling, Absorbing, Itch Relieving, and there's some menthol in it. It's very cooling. It stops you from itching. This is definitely a special mention because sometimes we get like sweaty too, and just sweaty and swollen. This is perfect. I don't use it all the time, but when I do, it's bussing. You can't see, but it's actually down here. So like I have used a good amount of it. Anti-itch uses temporarily relieves the pain and itch associated with minor cuts, sunburn, insect bites, scrapes, minor burns, minor skin irritations. Now let's get into my holy grail, which is all the way up here because I just put a hefty dose on just now. This is called Boil Ease. It is maximum strength. Benzocaine ointment, 20% pain relieving ointment. Uses, temporarily relief of pain and discomfort associated with boils. It's funny, this one was my last ditch effort. The combination of everything else was already helping, plus it was a week into this really massive flare up, so it was already like kind of starting to pass, like I was, it was softening up, it was about to do, you know, the big kabloom and I was finally gonna have some relief. But I was buying more of the sea salt soak and I was like, let me just get it. Let me just get it in case. At this point, I had spent so much money on stuff that didn't work, numbing strips, numbing creams. So I'm like, let me try it. It has boil in the name. Let me try it. Now, like I said, not everything works for everyone. This is my holy grail at the moment. But this is similar to Vicks, but it's actually a real numbing cream. So you just put this on your flares and after a little bit it actually starts to numb. Now it's not going to be like numbing shot numb like you're still going to like be able to feel it but it definitely takes the edge off the pain by a lot by a lot. The smell is almost a little minty again like the Vicks but it's definitely not as strong as the Vicks which I really like. I'm just tired of smelling like Vicks. So I didn't mention this in the video that I filmed, but this actually got me through last night. So these are the new products in my Flare Up Survival Kits. Um, yeah, they're good ones. So as far as HS updates, it never ends. It never ends. I'm in a constant state of flaring up. Most of the time they're small. Right now it's like a medium painful like it's definitely painful enough to drain me of my energy and to really aggravate me and to give me anxiety because I just want the pain to stop but a few months ago I had one of the worst flare-ups I've ever had in my life and to make things well I want to say make things worse but to make things better also was the first major flare-up that my fiance has seen and also the first time that I've even been with someone live with someone and they've seen my flare up it just really sucks and and now that i live with a partner it's just made it so much more obvious how much i'm struggling and how often i'm dealing with it because when i'm by myself in my room every day day after day after day it's easy for me to forget what I go through. It's easy for me for the days to go by. It's just it's just easy for me to gloss over 
the fact that I have HS. If I was having a flare up, I stayed at home. All of my friends thought that I was a flake and a ghost and my friends just thought that I never wanted to text back or hang out. The truth was I was hiding and isolating because I was in a lot of pain. And once that was over, I would text again, I would go hang out again, I would go on dates with Sway again. And it was just very easy to kind of compartmentalize my illness and that part of my life but now that I am sharing my life with someone it's just so much more apparent it's so much more obvious let me know in the comments how y'all are doing I really want to know so that's all for this video I'm gonna go soak in these Epsom salts I'm at the very last bit of the bag I'm so sad I'm at the last bit of pretty much everything I have to re-up so that's really annoying. But I'm also planning a HS Q&A. So ask me anything in the comments below. If you have any questions regarding HS in my relationship, questions for me or questions for my partner, let me know. I will answer all of those in the next HS video. All right. I will talk to you later. Ugh.